power goes out in downtown Rockingham due to tree falling over power lines, and a structure fire occurs in East Rockingham. That and more are all coming your way on your Thursday edition of Live at 5, brought to you by Richmond CC. Richmond County's nightly news starts right now. Around 8 p.m. Wednesday night, power went out in the downtown Rockingham area. Kenny and Melvin was on the scene last night. Here's more. And behind me, a cruiser on site. It appears as though a large tree fell across power lines. Uh, and to my back, uh, there are lines down there, cable vision, telephone, a little bit of everything. Uh, power outage all downtown Rockingham, with the exception of a few street lights. And as you run down Federal Road, we do have power in Richmond Park, and that area is totally blacked out. Our studios on Rockingham Road are in the dark right now. Crews worked throughout last night and today to get power restored to the area. Duke Energy had to replace a pole from where the tree toppled over and snapped it in half. As of 2 p.m. today, South Randolph Street was still closed to non-residential traffic on both sides. Yesterday at 12.31 p.m., the East Rockingham Fire Department was dispatched to a possible structure fire at 263 Church Street. The caller stated that she thought the fire was coming from the oven and the structure was filled with smoke. When the fire department arrived, they discovered that the oven was in fact the spot of the fire's origin. They quickly set up the high pressure fan and removed all smoke from the structure. There was a minimum of damage to the residence and the structure was deemed safe to enter. Only the owner was home at the time of the call and she exited the stru structure safely. Inspectors with the NC Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services are issuing a warning to consumers to not purchase or consume Kellogg's Honey Smack cereal due to a multi-state outbreak of salmonella. The outbreak has spanned 33 states with more than 101 cases of infections, at least four of those are in North Carolina. The CDC recommends that consumers do not eat any Kellogg's Honey Smack cereal. The FDA has also issued a statement that retailers cannot legally offer the cereal for sale and should throw out 15.3 ounce and 23 ounce boxes. Salmonella can cause some serious and sometimes fatal injuries and infection in young children, frail or elderly people, and others with weakened immune systems. Symptoms of salmonella include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea or bloody diarrhea, abdominal cramping, and fever. Rarely, salmonella can result in more serious ailments. People exhibiting any symptoms after having consumed this product should contact their healthcare providers. Consumers can find more information online at kellogg's.com slash honey smack cereal recall or call 1-800-962-1413. When we return, Matt Harrison will be bringing you your Live at 5 weather report. It's coming up right after the break, so stay tuned. Rockingham Dragway presents Smoke at the Rock Barbecue Cook-Off. On Saturday, August 18th, contestants will outcook one another, and you get to decide who is the best pork and chicken barbecuer in the Sand Hills region. Plus, enter the cornhole tournament for a $200 payout to the winner. Admission is only 8 bucks, and children 12 and under get in free. Pay nothing for parking. Entry into the cook-off is just 40 bucks. Visit Rockingham Dragway for more information. It's on! At Richmond County Hospice, we strive to provide high quality care to our patients and their families. Whether it's the incredible hospitality at the Haven House or from the comfort of your own home, you can count on hospice to be there for you. We also offer monthly grief support groups and our chaplain will be there to hold your hand in prayer. Through our amazing staff and our volunteers, hospice has made difficult times easier for our community. Call the number on your screen if you feel that you or your loved one may benefit from our services. Richmond County Hospice, peace, comfort, dignity. Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts is all about rustic home decor and gifts. You will always find a variety of unique antiques, vintage, and new items in our shop. Come and see our selection of housewarming, new baby, and wedding gifts. For the man in your life, we have many collectibles, boker knives, and leather. And ladies love the jewelry, purses, candles, hats, and t-shirts. We also offer a 30-day layaway program. Come and experience shopping at Willow Tree Antiques and Gifts.
Today's Live at 5 weather report is brought to you by Tide's Computer Sales and Services. And as we look at the map behind me, here on the uh, eastern part of North Carolina, you can expect a high of 90 in Wilmington, a high of 88 in New Bern, and a high of 91 for tomorrow in Greenville. Also can expect some thunderstorms up and down the eastern part of the state. However, as we move further into the state towards us here in the Sand Hills area, a high of 91 in Laurenburg, high of 90 in both Southern Pines and Rockingham. And as you can see, sunshine up through the Sand Hills area. Now, as you're moving further west towards the mountains, high of 91 in Charlotte, high of 88 in Greensboro, and a high of 86 in Hickory. And as you can see, it's one of those days where it storms on the outside, sunshine in the middle. As we take a look at the five-day weather forecast, as we get into the weekend, a 40% chance of rain on Friday with a high of 90 and a low of 73. On Saturday, 50% chance of rain that day with a high of 91, again a low of 73. Now on Sunday, the temperature is going to drop pretty heavily all the way down to 84 with a low of 73 Sunday night, also a 60% chance of precipitation throughout that day. As we get into the beginning of next week on Monday, again a 60% chance of rain with a high of 86, low of 71. And on Tuesday, pretty much the same thing, but 50% chance of rain, high of 87, low of 70. So expect a few more days of rain over the next five days. And that's going to do it for your Live at 5 weather report. And when we return, four-team scrimmage allows Richmond football more preps ahead of season opener despite inclement weather. Callie has more when we return. Hayden Construction has two new homes under construction at two distinct locations, 125 Crystal Court in Carolina Hills and on Robert L. School Road. Both feature incredible floor plans and distinct features inside and out. Hayden Construction, quality, value, and beauty. Call Jamie Smart at 910-331-5811 for Nicole Hayden at 910-995-0717 today to schedule an appointment. Exit Realty, making dreams a reality. At Richmond Community College, we can prepare you for a high-skill, high-paying career in a variety of fields. From business to education, engineering, utilities, healthcare, criminal justice, information technology, and human services. At Richmond Community College, we can save you thousands of dollars on tuition through our university transfer programs that provide a seamless transition to universities and colleges throughout North Carolina. At Richmond Community College, we are always developing new courses and programs in response to the communities we serve. We offer day, evening, and online courses, and you can now complete five curriculum programs entirely online. At Richmond Community College, we believe in helping you prepare for a better life. Richmond Community College. Local college. Big impact. McNair Auto Sales is the place to buy your pre-owned car, truck, or van. To be the best, it takes big selection, friendly staff, and great pricing. We guarantee a no-hassle buying experience, and financing is available right on site. So come see us today. We're located at 1026 East Broad Avenue in Rockingham. And remember, with over 40 years of experience, you know McNair is the name you can trust. Heavy storms that rolled through the area Wednesday evening cut Richmond Senior High School's varsity football scrimmage short, but all things considered, it was a pleasing experience for head coach Brian Till. With just a little over a week away from the first official game of the year on Friday, August 17th, at home against Ronald Reagan High School, the Raiders varsity squad played host to Anson, Marlboro County, and Mooresville High Schools in a four-team scrimmage. A 40-minute delay stopped play in the first scrimmage against Mooresville when officials spotted lightning southwest of the playing field, sending teams to the locker room, baseball dugouts, and school buses for cover. Richmond managed to get in full scrimmages against the Blue Devils and Anson before a severe thunderstorm warning swept over Raider Stadium roughly an hour later, and in the Marlboro County scrimmage after one offensive series. The field was broken up into two 40-yard fields so all four teams could play simultaneously. It was a full contact scrimmage, Richmond's first of the year against other teams, which ran in the format of 20 plays of both offensive and defensive against each team. Possession was alternated every 10 plays. 
The readers won't have to wait long for their next bit of live action as they'll head to Wake Forest University on Friday to square off against East Forsyth High School and bb and Stadium. The scrimmage against the Eagles will be 100% football as special teams will be incorporated. Kickoff is set for 6.30 p.m. And that's going to do it for today's edition of Live at 5. If you haven't already, be sure to download the Richmond Observer app for your iPhone and Android devices. For all the latest news in Richmond County, visit richmondobserver.com. And be sure to tune in to Good Morning Sand Hills Monday through Friday between 6.30 and 8.30 a.m. Thanks for watching Live at 5. Good night, Richmond County.